The Yukon is widely known for its artists. Now the territory has a budding new artist. However, this artist does very unique work and has even more unique background. Al Foster introduces us to him now. Meet one of the Yukon's up-and-coming artists, Devin Walton. His canvas? A laptop computer. His medium? Pixel art. Walton creates art with his computer's paint program. His subjects are people that he observes on the internet, usually from sites like Blog TV and YouTube. He saves the images and then creates his own version of those pictures. What makes his creations even more unique is that Walton has autism. Walton usually communicates through an electronic communication device, so Graham Wilson speaks for him on this day. He does a lot of it at home with his mom, and he comes back with these incredible paintings of musicians often. Um, and what they're allowing us to do is to really understand a lot of the way he sees the world, and it's it's fascinating for all his caregivers. Like we're just we're so intrigued. He comes back. Um, from a weekend visit and he'll have a piece of artwork that will just shock us and um, it'll form a, a, a lot of discussion amongst his caregiving team. Mm -hmm. While many people living with disabilities yeah, use art as therapy or as a pastime, Walton is using his to create a legitimate business. He has turned many of his drawings into cards He's selling them online and in person at local craft fairs, usually to rave reviews. That's really interesting because a lot of the vocational opportunities for people with disabilities in this town are more menial types of jobs. It's cleaning, it's, it's um, a lot of repetitive tasks. But this is something really different. This is um, Devon creating artwork, manufacturing the artwork, putting them in boxes. Um, taking them to outlets for sales, going to craft shows, meeting people, discussing his artwork, and exploring something that, that's really deeply personal to him. And it appears this is just the beginning of Devin Walton's rise as an artist. His work will soon be featured on a national online gallery. It's a gallery sponsored by the Autism Acceptance Project. He's just one of eight artists who have autism from across Canada who will be featured on that website. Al Foster, CBC News, Whitehorse. An update now on a story we brought you a few months ago. A bookstore in Whitehorse is ending its parody sale. The manager of Max Fireweed Books can't afford to continue selling books at U.S. prices. The sale began two months ago when the Canadian dollar reached an all-time high. Although the store sold a lot of books during the sale, it didn't turn a profit. Remembering is difficult but even more difficult if you have Alzheimer's disease.